Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy and studying also. As you all know, we are completing chapter number 13 and we are studying past tense. In past tense, we have already done simple past tense, past continuous tense. And today we are going to start past perfect tense. So, before going to start the topic, I would like to complete the remaining exercises which was left yesterday. So, take out your Mastering Grammar book, page number 104 and three exercise, number three exercise we have completed, D number exercise and we are going to do D number exercise number four. So everybody take out your Mastering Grammar book, 104 page, chapter number 13, past tense and this is your exercise number D. First three we have completed. Now we are moving to solve exercise number D. Number four. Number four is Sunidhi wrote an application for grant of leave. Now here we have to write in negative and in interrogative forms. So Sunidhi wrote an application for grant of leave. Now here this is simple past tense. So we have to make in simple past tense in negative form and interrogative form. Negative we are going to write Sunidhi did not write an application an application for a grant of leave. Now in negative we have completed. Now we are going to do an interrogative. In interrogative we are going to do first of all we just place this did at the first place. Did Sunidhi write and application for grant of leave question mark now complete this after that we are moving to next one this is number five fifth is the dancers were performing on folk songs. So now we are going to do this in negative. This is present, uh, sorry, this is past continuous tense. So that is why we are going to write in negative form of past continuous tense. So fifth is the dancers were not performing on folk dance, folk songs. So this is negative. Now we are going to make interrogative. So first of all verb will be placed at the first place were the dancers performing on four 
folk songs. Question mark will be placed. So this is how we have completed exercise number D. Now we are going to learn past perfect tense. First of all you just complete it and then we are moving to next part of this. Take a screenshot. Now our topic is past perfect tense. It means the work or an action was completed in the past. Now we are moving to the our next topic. This is past perfect tense. Past perfect tense shows an action completed at some point in the past before another action began. It means it the action was completed in the past before the another action began. So for example you can see I am giving you one example. The flight had landed had landed when I reached the airport. It means here you can see the flight had landed. The flight already landed before then I reached the airport. It means the perfect tense shows an action completed at some point in the past before another action began. It means the flight had landed when I reached the airport. It was landed it was at the some extent it was completed before the second action or another action began so this is the concept of past perfect tense it is not concerned about present but both work first action and the second action also completed in the past so that is the main feature of past perfect tense. Don't get confused. So always remember past perfect tense shows what shows an action completed at some point in the past before another action begins. Now the flight had landed when I reach the airport. It means two work or two actions are here and both are completed. But first action had completed before the another action began. So that is the main essence of past perfect tense. Now let's learn how to make past perfect tense. The formation of past perfect tense. First of all, we should know formation. Had will be used plus verb third form or you can say past participle. This is the rule of past perfect tense. So always remember only one 
auxiliary verb will be used had and after that verb third form whether the verb, uh, subject is singular or plural you have to use had every time so whenever we are talking about how to make negative sentence in past perfect tense so always remember had not plus third form of verb now interrogative how it is had will be placed at the first place of sentence and then subject then verb third form and then other words of sentence and question mark will be placed so this is the formation of making past perfect tense sentences negative and interrogative in negative what we are supposed to do we are only use not because it is a negative sentence that is why had not will be there in third form of the verb now in interrogative had will be placed at the first place and then subject will be there and then verb and then third form of the verb so this is how we can make past perfect tense in negative and interrogative form now i am going to give you one example that the first example if you are going to see the flight had not landed had not landed before when when you reached the airport now here you can see the flight had not landed when you reached the airport this is the formation of negative sentence in past perfect now we are going to make i am going to give one example for making interrogative sentence in past perfect tense now first of all as i told you that had will be placed at the first place and then had the flight landed before no sorry landed when when you reached the airport so the question mark will be there so this you always keep in mind whenever we are making negative sentence we just put had not and whenever we are making interrogative sentence we just placed had at the first place of sentence and then subject will be there then verb third form and then other words of sentences now we are going to solve exercise number e which you can find on page number 105 in your mastering grammar book so take out or turn over the page 105 mastering grammar book exercise number e fill in the blanks with the simple past tense or the present perfect tense forms of verb given in the brackets so now we are going to start she dash with mr sharma earlier also now here we have to 
mention because she dash with Mr. Sharma earlier also it means it is talking about past tense. So we are going to write in the simple past tense work is given in the bracket. So we are going to write worked. First is worked. She worked with Mr. Sharma earlier also. Now in second Bina dash him yesterday but he dash back yet. Call or not call. Now here in first we are going to write Bina called. Bina called him up yesterday but he has not called. Has not called. Has not called back yet. Now third, Rajat dash to a new house but has yet to settle down. Now Rajat shifted. Third is shifted. Now number four, mother dash him a black jacket yesterday. Mother gifted. Gifted him a black jacket yesterday. Now fifth, the magician dash us some amazing tricks last Sunday. So this is given show. Now showed will be there. Last Sunday because it's talking about past tense. Show. The magician sh showed us some amazing tricks last Sunday. Now here since he dash he dash call intently instantly now he has answered six is he has answered answered call instantly now seven nina dash a party today Na, nina has thrown Has thrown. Now, in eighth, I dash a party this afternoon. I have thrown. Now, ninth. She dash into her hostel. Move is there. She moved. She moved into her hostel. Now we are moving to solve number 10. He dash into the hostel last evening. Check. So this is talking about past tense. That is why we are going to use simple past tense. So 10 is check. Check will be there. So complete this exercise. All of you. Or take a screenshot. Now after solving. Or understanding the past perfect tense. We are moving to the fourth form of past tense. That is past tense perfect continuous tense. Past as you all know we are talking about past which was done. Perfect means we are very sure about the work has been completed and continuous tense. It means it is still in continuous motion and tense as you all know the meaning of tense. Now first of all 
we should see what is the concept of past perfect continuous tense so here i have written that past perfect tense used to report an action or event that occurred before a certain point in the past before a certain point of a past the effects of which are still visible when we refer to past it means it was occurred in past but the effect of that action still visible or effect referred to the past for example the boy had been flying it means the boy had been flying flying it means the boy used to fly that kite since childhood it means the action was completed in the past but the effect of that action is refer to the past it means the boy had been flying kite since childhood now here one thing we have to show since for as long as so these type of the phrases will be used to denoting the time it was in the past but the effect and it is refer in the past also so let's now the second example the mountaineer had been trying to climb the mountain since last years so it means the mountaineer had been trying the action had been going on but the effect of that action is referred into past because since last year so it is referring in the past so that you always keep in mind when since for as long as these type of the phrases will be used you just understand that it is referring in the past so now let's know about how to form past perfect continuous tense formation of past perfect continuous tense is had been plus verb ing because this is continuous that is why verb with ing if we are going to make a negative so what we are going to do only had had not been plus verb ing now when we are going to write in interrogative interrogative so what we are supposed to use over here had will be place at the first place and then subject and then been and then verb ing and the other sentence words of the sentence now first of all one example i am going to give to make how to make negative sentence in past perfect continuous tense now negative sentence in past perfect tense the baby had not sleeping the baby 
had not been sleeping had not been sleeping for an hour for an hour when the dog barked when the dog barked barked and woke it up now here you can see the baby had not been sleeping for an hour when the dog barked and woke it so this is the example of negative sentence how to form now here you can see the baby the subject is there and then had not been and then verb with ing for an hour because for is denoting the time and then an hour when the dog barked and woke it before denoting the time we have to use over here for now if you are going to make a negative sentence so let's see had will be placed at the first place then subject then been and then verb with ing and the other words of sentences now let's see the example of interrogative sentences also how to make interrogative sentence first of all we will place had the acrobats had the acrobats been performing been performing for 2 hours for 2 hours before the show got over before the show got over now here you can see had is there and then subject the acrobats then been then performing for 2 hours this is denoting the time before the show got over so this is how we can make interrogative sentence in past perfect continuous tense and here you can see we can make negative sentence in past perfect continuous tense i hope you have learned this and in the online class if you have any doubt you can ask and we will continue this chapter tomorrow also because uh, there are lot of exercises left in this chapter and we will again we will revise this topic So that's all for today. Have a good day. It is used past perfect continuous tense. It is used to indicate an action that occurred before a certain point of time in the past, had continued up to that moment, and was still in progress. At that moment, or had recently finished, the tense tells us about the continuity. of an action that took longer than some other action in the past for example the players had been playing for 3 hours when i reached the playground now here you can see event number 1 had been playing now second event i reached now second example we can see it had been raining heavily for hours when the fisherman decided to change the plan and returned home the form used for past perfect continuous tenses had been ing form of the verb for example the acrobats 
had been performing for two hours before the show got over. For negative sentences, we write had not been verb form ing. The baby had not been sleeping for an hour when the dog barked and it woke up. In interrogative sentence, the past first part of the verb is put before the subject. Had the acrobats been performing for two hours before the show got over? So these are the basic things that we always keep in mind that is it is used to indicate an action that occurred before a certain point of time in the past had continued up to that moment and was still in progress at that moment or had recently finished. The test tells us about the continuity of an action that took longer than some other action in the past. So this you always keep in mind whenever we are making past perfect continuous tense we have to use had been verb with ing.